I ain't looking forward to none of this, but I feel like a, a weight has been lifted off my shoulders now that this contract didn't go through. As far as I'm concerned, I'm already on Caesar's list for even showing up to Orlando. So I just feel like no matter what, however which way you're gonna look at this, I'm I don't know what to expect, you know? I thought my you know conversation with Caesar went well, but you never know with him. So I'm here and I'm ready to face whatever comes. So do y'all know what this is about? Y'all know, so you know. Where's C's at? I have no idea. He ain't answering his phone. Let's just get started. Tell me what happened, because I've heard everybody else's story, but the main players in the whole situation. Vanity, you can go first. My situation with Tati, yeah, I got emotional. Because at the end of the day, like, I thought we were friends. So when Bay inserted herself to the whole situation, I walked you away the and I yeah, asked you a question. Yeah, I told her to mind her business. The last thing I thought she was gonna do was throw a drink at me. What the <laughs> oh. is this? It hits Crystal's face. Imagine a if it would have cut her face. Okay. And honestly, at that point, like it was just reflexes. Crystal, like, how do you feel about the situation? It had nothing to do with her. I feel like, sorry for her. Or I mean, Bay. Like, I, I didn't want that to go down. I felt like everybody here was my friend. Tati, I would like to hear your side. Please, explain. Like, it happened so fast. From my perspective, Bay was wrong for throwing the drink. And how it escalated, I, I didn't drink. I was sober. And as soon as it got crazy, I removed myself. Because y'all know I can't get in trouble. Tati, if you so focused on not getting in trouble, why are you starting trouble in the first place? OK, so you coming in here uninvited, do you think walking into the bar and wondering how people feel about you was smart? No, I think I should have never came here. I think that. That was maybe the best answer I've heard today. Puma just loves when it's not him up. And when it's not him up, he makes sure that everybody else who's up really feels it. So I don't really know if he even actually cares about this situation or he's just happy that it's not on him. I don't know what's worse, quiet Caesar or angry Caesar. Bay, tell us your perspective of what happened. I mean, um, me and Tata were having a conversation about, like, you know, what happened, you know, when Caesar said, oh. Hold on. Pointless. I don't give a who did what or how it started or how it ended, yo. Y'all put my brand at risk. Y'all all know better, yo. Y'all can't sit here and tell me y'all don't. All of y'all had businesses. Y'all know y'all can't be doing this. I've been here 10 years strong, yo. There ain't nothing without this platform for nobody here. And you think I'm gonna let y'all destroy this me? I've known Caesar for quite a long time, and I'm pretty good at reading him. But the last few months, I'm not gonna lie, he's been on some different And right now, I don't know what this man has in store for everybody. I'm gonna choose my words carefully. We no longer can go back, and I gotta go forward. Effective immediately. Michelle, Drea, I want y'all to pack your bags and come to New York. As far as the four in that incident, Crystal, Vanity, Bay, and Tati. Y'all officially fired. This too much. And everybody else, y'all see how I'm moving. Don't with me, yo. Oh, man. It's 
cold day in Black Ink history. Hey, y'all, it's your boy Caesar, Black Ink CEO. And if you don't know me, the reason why is you ain't subscribed to the VH1 YouTube channel. At the end of the day, you already know that's the number one channel on YouTube. And if you don't got it, I guess you just watch the number two.